this ladies and gentlemen is a Cisco Meraki Teleworker Gateway Z1 or Z1 Well, it's more or less like a smaller version of a Cisco Meraki security appliance, which has some wireless capabilities too. Uh, this one has a, a dual band 802.11n radios. Not bad, right? So as a teleworker gateway, Z1 is actually designed for small branch offices or remote sites. So the people who are working there can actually access the corporate headquarters LAN by using this device. But of course they can also use client VPN for that purpose. It is actually something that we already talked about. However, in order to set up a client VPN, you might need to configure each client machine individually. Also some operating systems might not even have this option to begin with, maybe some VoIP phones for example. So it might get a little bit complicated. But with this guy, we can set up a site-to-site -site VPN between the Z1 and the HQ MX security appliance, and this way the clients that are connected to the Z1 can easily access the HQ via the site-to-site -site VPN while still able to access the local resources such as the printers and shared drives. But there is actually something to keep in mind. This Z1 is actually designed to handle up to 5 client devices. So it's not designed for a big network at all. As I said, it is meant for small branch offices or remote sites. So that's something to keep in mind. Okay, now let's have a closer look at our Z1 device. As you can see, it is rather a small device, maybe roughly half the size of an MX64 security appliance. On the back, there are four LAN ports and one internet or WAN port, and they're all gigabit ethernet ports. It also has a USB 2 port, which can be used to connect a 3G, 4G failover cellular modem. There's also an on and off switch and a reset button. On the front though, there is only a status LED light, which I'm sure you're already familiar with its functionality if you have followed our Meraki series. There are two newer models after this Z1, Z3 and Z3C, but as far as the maximum number of clients that they can support, that number is still 5 for the newer models. They have more advanced wireless technology, also one PoE enabled port, and better firewall and VPN throughput. The Z3C also has a built-in cellular modem. Now let's connect our Z1 to the network and make sure it is showing online in the Meraki dashboard. The process is going to be very similar to how we connected the MX64 to the network, so I'm not going to go through the details here again. If you are not familiar with the process, I would suggest to watch that video first. The Z1 like other Meraki devices is actually required to have a license before it can be used, so I have already added my license here. Now I'm going to create a new network and call it Branch Office and add the Z1 to this network. Now I can physically connect it to the network. By default the WAN port is actually in dynamic mode, but if I want to assign a static IP address to it, then I can do it in the local status page of the device. And again that's something that I've done before in another video in case you are interested in that. In my case though, I'm actually happy with the dynamic IP assignment, so I'm just gonna connect the cable, wait for it to receive an IP address so it can connect to the Meraki cloud. Alright, so at this point the Z1 is online. Now I'm gonna set it up according to my network plan. First off, I'm gonna go to the addressing and VLANs and change the network address from the default one which is 192.168.128.0 to 172.16.0.0. I'm not gonna use VLANs though. 
then I'm also gonna set up a wireless network. As you can see, I can set up up to four SSIDs on my Z1. I only need one though. But something worth noting here would be that when I enable each SSID, the Z1 is actually going to broadcast two wireless networks, one 2.4 GHz and one 5 GHz. Okay, so now the Z1 is ready for my uh, branch office, which is actually my bedroom. And now I'm gonna set up a site-to-site -site VPN to my HQ, which is my living room, to see how this site-to-site -site VPN actually works. But that's gonna be in another video. Good news is that video is already ready. Already ready? And you can check it out right there, if you are interested, of course. But for now, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. Hit that like button if you did, share it if you think others might like it too, and subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more videos like this. Thank you very much, and I will see you next time.